Hello, friend. Lately, we've been learning about the benefits of supporting our local food economy. Since we all need to eat, food can be a great starting point to look at how our choices can help create a more connected and sustainable society. We currently live in New Zealand in a house with some friends. We've started a small vegetable garden, but have still been buying most of our food from the nearby supermarket. After our last shopping trip, we divided up all of the food by country to see how much we were purchasing products that were made or grown in New Zealand. The answer was not very much. We first started thinking about all the pollution and energy consumption that results from shipping food around the world. Food items are often imported, even when a country produces plenty of the same product. As we researched more, we discovered it could be even more convoluted. Products are often shipped to another country to be processed, but then shipped on somewhere else or even back to the country they originally came from. Even when you think you know where something is from, from looking on the packet, there can be a huge amount of extra travel that's hidden. And the problem with things being hidden isn't just about excessive transport. With production so distant and detached from us, the consumers, we can be supporting environmental degradation or exploitation in the supply chain without even knowing it. This sort of thing is what we end up with when the entire economic structure is organized around the singular pursuit of profit growth. By shifting to a local approach, we can start to have more insight into how our food is produced and even get involved. We can shift demand to more local suppliers that have less negative impacts on the environment and on our fellow beings. Here are some ways we can get started. We can sign up for a regular veggie box from a local farm. Volunteer with a nearby community garden. Experiment with growing our own food. Support local businesses that emphasize locally sourced foods. Challenge ourselves to read the back of the package. Think about if we really need this thing from the other side of the world. There are some other great benefits too from moving to a more local approach. And there are some nuances we'd like to cover as well. This isn't only about how we individually consume. Governments need to make policy changes to encourage local economies and to discourage wasteful and exploitative behavior. We're not saying all global trade is bad, but it's important for there to be a significant shift because the current way we're doing things is causing a lot of harm. We also need to be careful to distinguish localization from nationalistic movements. Localization is about being more mindful and connected to what's around you, not about cutting off from the rest of the world. John wrote a lot more details about all these topics, so check out the link below if you'd like to learn more. And don't forget to quit your corporate job, go vegan, and live in a tiny house. Whoa, yes!